Good morning, students. In the last video, that is urbanization part three, we have talked about the negative impacts of urbanization. How excessive pressure on our cities are leading them to choke under their own weight. All this is happening as more and more people are moving towards the cities and the need of housing spaces are increasing. This has led to the peripheries of the capital to expand, bringing smaller cities nearby to come under its fold. So over here, you can see how this is the urban center and due to excessive pressure on this urban center, the peripheral cities, that is those cities which are surrounding it, have come under its fold. Such cities are known as satellite cities. They help to manage the urban sprawl. Now, what exactly is a satellite city? A satellite city is a city located close to but outside the limits of the larger city by an efficient public transport system. For example, Gurugram near Delhi, Thane and Navi Mumbai near Mumbai, Mohali near Chandigarh, Rajarhat in Kolkata, all are satellite cities. Now let us understand the characteristics of a satellite city. A satellite city is a planned city. It has mainly residential buildings, schools, offices, banks and shops. It has few or no factories. It is established as a city distinct from its neighboring larger city and has its own municipal government and its own water and power supply. Other characteristics of the satellite city includes its limits are defined and its expansion is restricted. It is separated from the larger city by a large farmland, a river or a lake. Here we can see a satellite town which is separated from the metropolitan or the larger town by this huge lake. It is normally connected to its neighboring city by an efficient network public transport. Over here we can see how the city is very planned and it is very well connected by a network of commuting systems and public transport. Still other characteristics of the satellite city include it is designed to help its larger city to expand by housing and employing the excess population of that city. So satellite cities are actually formed for housing the extra people who are coming to the main metropolitan city. There is a lot of commuting between a satellite town and its neighboring larger city. Since most of them are working in the major or the main city, people have to travel from these satellite towns to the major city. That is why commuting systems from the satellite town is and has to be very, very efficient. A satellite city and its neighboring larger city are often a part of the metropolitan area. Now with time, the satellite city also begins to become slightly 
larger they also start to sprawl and together they become a part of the metropolitan area in this part of the lesson we are going to learn another very important aspect of urbanization and that is a smart city now what exactly is a smart city as the name suggests smart so a smart city is a city that uses mainly information technology to efficiently utilize resources and provide amenities including water supply power supply internet connection public transport housing waste management and also cater to healthcare and education a smart city's characteristics include it keeps records and maintains the resources as well as everything is monitored by using the state of the art computer systems most services which are found in the smart city are provided online residents can directly communicate with the government the ultimate aim is to ensure rational economic development which will benefit the residents business the government and the environment so these are the basic components of a smart city around the world there are several smart cities this includes amsterdam the capital of netherlands stockholm the capital of sweden dublin the capital of ireland and manchester in england besides this there are several other cities scattered around the world like new york usa songdo which is a district of seoul in south korea singapore city are all coming under the development and developed smart cities india is also not far behind as far as smart cities are concerned the indian government has launched the smart cities mission under which some cities have been chosen to be to be developed into smart cities this includes bhubaneswar the capital of orissa pune in maharashtra jaipur in rajasthan surat in gujarat which also holds the very important being a very important city as it is one of the cleanest cities of india apart from all these cities ahmedabad kochi vizag all have been included under the indian government's mission of smart city so students throughout these weeks we have been learning about the pros and cons of urbanization urbanization is important because that actually shows how developed is the country because if more people are staying in urban centers that is an indication that the country is developed so with time we will see that nearly 60 to 75% of the population will be moving 
to cities for the intention of settling down over there. That is what we have enough for today. Thank you.